How many core electrons are in a neutral silicon atom? How many valence electrons are in a neutral silicon atom? Hello. We're going to draw the electronic structure of a silicon atom and then count it from here. Okay. We got to find silicon on the periodic table. I'm going to start by drawing the nucleus. We don't need to know the number of protons and neutrons. But we're just going to do it just, just because. Um, looking at the periodic table, it has an atomic mass of 28.08 grams per mole. You cannot have 0 0.08 of a proton or neutron. So we're going to round that number to the nearest whole number. 28.05 gets rounded down to 28. So our silicon atom has an atomic mass of 28 grams per mole. It has an atomic number of 14. So there are 14 protons. 14 plus something must equal 28. 14 plus 14 neutrons equals 28. So our nucleus is going to have 14 protons and 14 neutrons. For your imagination, I recommend you imagine like a basket of tennis balls. And there are 14 red tennis balls and 14 yellow tennis balls to represent the protons and neutrons. The nucleus is very ordered and structured. And that basket of tennis balls is, doesn't reflect that order and structure, but that basket of tennis balls does get, gets the party start. The electrons that we will draw out, we will start by again looking at the periodic table. Silicon is on the third row, so there will be three shells of electrons. First shell, the second shell, and the third shell. Okay. A neutral silicon atom is going to have 14 electrons. The protons and neutrons need to cancel out their charges. The plus one for the proton, the negative one for the electron. So we need 14 electrons to cancel out the charge. Looking at the top row of the periodic table, boxes can tell us how many electrons can fit in that top row. There are UNO dose boxes in the top row, so that innermost row can only fit dose electrons. There's two of our 14. Now it'd be real great if this was, if the second row could fit 12 electrons, because that would be our total right there. Let's count it out. In the second row, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. So eight electrons can fit in the second row. Not 12, never more than eight. One, two, three, cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho. Yes, I got ocho right there. So that's 10 electrons. The remaining four electrons, if we look at our periodic table, the third row, it is no coincidence that silicon is the fourth box and that we have to fit four electrons in our third row. How many core and how many valence electrons? We have 14 total electrons, and the words core and valence are meant to represent the geography or location of these electrons. The valence electrons are the electrons available for bonding. They are the outermost electrons. In this example, the outermost ring contains four electrons. So there are four valence electrons. The core electrons are everything else 10. 